Welcome back to the channel. Today we will review the ASUS BE9700 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 router. It also has the code of RT-BE92U. It is a Wi-Fi 7 extendable router. So when it's time to extend your network, just add another AI mesh compatible unit the way you want and you can extend the coverage. The router comes with AI detection on WAN inputs. So with the new AI detection, the RTB92U configures itself based on the WAN input. Seamlessly switching between 10 gig and 2.5 gig ports for WAN or LAN use. The RTB92U also provides subscription-free network security with commercial-grade AI Protection Pro powered by Trend Micro. Plus one tap security scan and safe browsing for worry-free online experience. Let's now unbox the unit and see what is installed. Right here we have the an important notice to ensure that the network adapter driver is up to date. And over here is a leaflet about the wall mounting of this device. You can wall mount this device. And this is a quick setup guide which actually shows you the different buttons and what they stand for. So there is a the 10 gig port, 2.5 gig port at the back, and there's a USB 3 port. So this is the base, very basic setup guide. So you can actually scan and download the ASUS router app to do the setup. Okay. And this is the warranty notice. Now let's remove the router. Okay. So this is the ASUS router. Okay. Let's put it aside. So what else is in the package? Okay, this is the box. Let's see what's inside. We have the three pin adapter. This is the, the two pin, I suppose. The different adapters for different region. And uh, we have the power adapter to power up the, the router. This is a Ethernet cable provided. Okay, that you can actually use it to connect to your ONT or fiber. And this should be a bracket for mounting. There are some screws inside, I think. This is another adapter. So there are some screws that for you to actually mount this particular router onto the wall socket, onto the wall. All right. Okay, so this is the actual 557 router. So over here you have the indicator lights, okay, the power, the 2.4 gig, 5 gig, 6 gig, okay, the LAN and the WAN. So over here is the, the back plate where you can actually see the LAN and WAN port. And the antenna can be adjusted upright. Like what I do right now. Okay. You can actually twist it. So you can actually rotate it 90 degrees and then make it upright. Okay, that's why I rotate it and then put it up. So that's how it looks like when you're going to mount it. So at the back, you have the reset button, the switch, the, the power socket for the adapter, and then you have the LAN port and the LAN ports. There's also a USB 3 port over here. So with the USB 3, you can actually use it as a backup. WAN link with your personal hotspot that is connected to your handphone. So we will plug this into our ONT later on and then we will power, power it up and then try out and see how is the speed when we use it against our Wi-Fi 7 devices. Like, and also we have a Wi-Fi 7 adapter for our PC which we could actually uh, hook it up and test the speed later on.
once we are done with the installation of the router, we can actually conduct a speed test of your internet broadband speed. In our setup, our WAN port is connected to the 2.5 gigabits per second fiber broadband. This internal speed test app can be found within the web browser by accessing 192.168.50.1 or you can access it from the ASUS configuration app. Do take note that what is tested here is the actual line speed that you are getting off from your ONT. In this case, it is tested against the Simba server. So we get a score of 2.12 gig for downlink and 1.025 for uplink. We have also conducted a test using a PC that is connected to the LAN port of this router and we are getting around almost the same speed as the line speed that we get from the router. Before testing our Wi-Fi 7 devices, it's always good to go into the settings and then set the MLO mode. For example, in this case, we set it to 5 GHz plus 6 GHz. In our test, we will use the speed test app and test it against two servers, CTC SCI and Simba server. We will test it at three different locations. First, next to the router. Secondly, we will test it in the kitchen, which is behind a wall. And then thirdly, we will test it with the adapter on our PC, which is in another room. We will take three different readings for 5 GHz band, for 6 GHz band, and 5 plus 6 GHz band in the MLO mode. For the test, we use a Xiaomi 14T Pro and also the MSI Hero BE Wi Fi 7 PCIe card. It can be clearly seen from the chart that when we use the MLO mode from combining 5 GHz plus 6 GHz, we get a speed boost in the speed test results. We notice that the 6 GHz band actually gives you higher speed, but the only thing is that it only offers a very short distance of coverage. It would be better that you combine 5 plus 6 GHz in the MLO mode setup. You might be wondering why I didn't include a 2.4 plus 5 plus 6 GHz MLO mode result. Well, the reason is because when we do a tri-band MLO mode, the result is even slower than what you will get from a 5 plus 6 setup. In conclusion, the RTB92U router is a groundbreaking addition to the next generation networking. With intelligent MLO technology, ultra-wide 320 MHz channels, and advanced features like future-proof IoT support. So whether you are a gamer, streamer, or a smart home enthusiast, the RTB92U ensures seamless connectivity, stability, and security. With the robust subscription-free network protection, superior VPN capabilities, and effortless setup via the, the ASUS router app, this router is definitely a standout choice for users demanding high-speed, reliable, and future-ready internet performance. This wraps up our video review of the RTBE92U. We also left two links in the description box below. The first link is the pricing information, and the second link is a link to a YouTube video on, on the router settings. If you like our video, do remember to like and share the video. See you in the next one.